How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip Mike here. Today, I've got something special for you. We don't cover our helicopters a lot on the channel, but I'm always fascinated when I find something new. Today, we're gonna check out a single-seater experimental helicopter. Stay tuned. Here we are. A lot of you actually subscribe to this channel from watching an aircraft that looks very similar to this. The Mosquito, and I covered that helicopter maybe two years ago. And here we have another single-seater helicopter. And this is not a Mosquito. This is, this is a bit different. As a matter of fact, I've heard that these company, uh, actually the particular company that manufactures this, has been around much longer than the Mosquito helicopter. This is a Helicycle, okay, from Eagle R&D. And this particular model is also turbine powered. If you recall, the Mosquito we covered here also was turbine powered, but there's a lot of differences uh, between the two. And I'll, I'll just go around it for you guys. I'm not big yet on helicopters, but again, I'm just fascinated by them. You've got the tail blade here, uh, and the, the mechanics of this thing is very similar to any standard helicopter out there, whether you're flying an R-22, R-44. So for example, my light in here is not as good, so let me go on the other side. There we are. So you see the rotor blades here? The system is very, very neat, and you've got two rotor blades, one on each side, and that's controlled by the side click here and I'll show you guys the interior in a minute but you see if I move this see that's the mechanics and the owner of this helicopter actually is a private pilot and that's one of the cool things about getting into one of these is that you don't actually need a helicopter license in order to fly one so this is considered an experimental aircraft so the FAA sees this as they would any other experimental, whether it's fixed wing or if it's a rotorcraft, okay? Now let's talk about this bad boy here. Now turbine is something that's not as popular in civil aviation. Uh, generally, when you're powering your aircraft or any single engine aircraft you get, you're looking at piston engines. Uh, but turbines are a lot more powerful. You get a lot more get up and go. And turbines, also something that's unique about them is Jet A. So you're not using 100 low lead or car gas for this. You've got Jet A. And this engine has total 160 horsepower. Now given usually when you are fitting these type of engines on a smaller aircraft like this, you probably have to dumb down the power or you're just gonna have way too much power uh, to lift you off. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. As someone who's on YouTube, I do a lot of storytelling. And if you don't know by now, YouTube is about you, hence the name YouTube. And so when you put yourself out on social media, telling a good story is important and also a presentation is just as important. On Skillshare, you can find a class like the one taught by Kate on personal branding, crafting your social media presence. It's a short 10 lesson course that can help anyone on how to hone in on their personal branding. These lessons are specifically focused on social media and it's ideal for everyone who's looking to take their professional online presence to the next level. Right now, Skillshare is giving away free tries to their premium membership. For the first thousand people to use the link in the description below, you get to use the platform absolutely free. And once the trial period is done, it's only $10 a month. Use the link in the description and set up your account today. Another thing I love about the design of this helicopter is you've, you've got the naked tail boom here. You see how everything is right there in the open. And you know, it's, it's a matter of preference. I think, you know, depending on who is flying one of these, you can have it open or closed. Obviously, if you add, if you cover this up, you're also adding more weight uh, to the aircraft. So, and from what I understand, this has a max gross weight of 850 pounds. And your useful load in this chopper is 
350 pounds, which is pretty good. What that means is that you can be small or if you're on the bigger side. Now, I'll be honest. I checked out the helicopter, uh, the mosquito helicopter, and I think you have a little bit more room in this one. And I'll get it in a minute. So you see that the seating here is just for a single pilot and all of your control surfaces, your cockpit and your panel is right in front of you. Uh, those, I call them rudders, but in a helicopter they're called anti-torque, okay? Uh, but they, they typically perform the same thing, whether in, in a fixed wing aircraft or rotorcraft as this one. Um, so you've got your side click here and this is your collective. This is what raises you up and down and your fuel selector right there in hands reach. Now you look at the gauge or the, the panel here, This it's not complex. So if you're used to being around air, any type of airplanes or helicopter, this is very simple. Okay, you got your, your airspeed here. Uh, this is for your RPM for the engine. You've got your compass there, your altitude, um, fuel gauge. So everything is pretty, uh, uh, you, can, you can define what it is, even if you're not a pilot or even if you're not around aircraft a lot. So very simple panel, and then you've got your electric switches down below, and your circuit breakers are down here. Now, let me get in and show you how comfortable or uncomfortable this is. Okay, so to get in, you go in first with your right foot, and I'll try to demonstrate right now. So, see my right right foot in, tilt your head backwards, and you get in this way. So here we are. Now, I'll be honest, it is cozy in here. Uh, for an average guy like me and let me let me turn the camera around here we are guys I am in the very cozy cabin of this helicycle um, I can tell you right now if you're flying one of these and you're not used to the sitting position so you, you're gonna be sitting upright as I'm doing right now tons of headroom you okay good so you see how much uh, space I have up here uh, so and also just my shoulders I'm still quite a few inches away from the from the doors so once I close this in, it's not gonna feel too tight now if you're a little bit wider you can still fit in here properly now the only thing I would say you may need to get used to is the leg room all right now let me turn the camera back around and you see what I mean when you're sitting in your knees are gonna be bent like this I'm 5'10 and my lower body is actually longer than my upper body. So if you're built like that, where one part of your body is longer, you may need to get used to having to bend your knees. And so once you're sitting this way, okay, you've got your side click here um, and you've got your collective there. But the cool thing with this helicopter, the fact that it's cozy is that everything is within reach. So if you need to hit a button or switch something, you have direct access to it. Now, once the uh, the cabin is closed, I can tell you, so in terms of visibility, obviously the helicopter, helicopters always have so much better visibility than airplanes, for example, because you basically have so many open. So usually, so right now, if I was in the area, I've got all of this. This entire area right here is open. Uh, and then same thing on this side. Now, the only thing is, if you look in front, so this is my front view, you know, you can't see through this or this. So your front view is a little bit more narrow, but side to side, you should get a good uh, good amount of visibility there. Um, let me step back out. So there you see, and as I mentioned, so most of the material uh, that this aircraft is built with is fiberglass, and that's how you get the lighter weight. Now, speaking of also in the weight department, you can look at these gray containers here. These are your gas tank, okay? And there are four, four different gas tanks in this thing. As you can already imagine, having a turbine engine, you're gonna be sipping more fuel, and it's gonna be Jet A. So the total amount of fuel that this helicopter holds is 24 gallons. And 
you're cruising 100 miles per hour, you've got flight time endurance of about two hours with that, that 24 uh, gallons, and you're gonna be sipping about 12 gallons of fuel per hour. So easy math, but you've got to have four. If you don't have four, and I, I love how, like, the first time I approached this machine, I could not, I didn't think this was a gas tank, but you see how the design is very neat, where everything is enclosed, and it just, it's beautifully designed. Another thing I should mention, the Mosquito helicopter we featured before, uh, one of the difference in the design and mechanics of it is with this helicopter, you've got a transmission, which is this here, whereas with the Mosquito, to change gears, you have belt, similar to what you see here. So that's one difference, uh, and from what I've been told, this is much quicker, much more efficient. Uh, it could be more maintenance, uh, but you've got a more efficient machine. Um, and just in general, uh, I think it's a beautiful, beautiful helicopter. So if you've ever been interested in getting into a helicopter or you're a daredevil, uh, this is one way to start. As a matter of fact, uh, the owner of this helicopter, like I said, they started flying fixed wing and they got into helicopter through this. And he actually went through training and then received his license to fly helicopters through this machine here and they still own it and again this is an experimental uh, price tag on this used fifty thousand dollars now if you recall the helicopter i mean the mosquito you were looking at eighty eighty five thousand if you go for the turbine engine uh, but with this you can get it at least the owner was able to get it for around 50 grand now i don't know what the general market is for the helicycle but there you have it guys that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and if this is your first time make sure you subscribe to mojo grip channel also a great way to support the channel is by becoming an mvp member go on to mojogrip.net forward slash mvp and guys if you have not subscribed to the mojo grip clip channel this is the time to do it go ahead and do it right now we have shorter clips if you don't have 10 20 minutes to spend watching a full video You've got two minute clip of those videos on the Mojo Grip Clip channel. All right, make sure you subscribe to that and I will catch you all on the next video.